This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 3 of Diablo 3 on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were people, let's crack straight in. Recording it straight after in fact, the last part. That's going to be locked surely, yeah, can't go through that. Stop calling me Shirley. Well, we've got two defiled crypts here. Or is it the same one from two different places? Defiled crypt. What could possibly go wrong? I'm pretty sure that those pools just fill up your... Oh, experience gain increased by 20%. No, they don't. Nice. They're not what I thought they were, people. Breaches of the bear seem to be better than what we've got. A dexterity comes down by the looks of it. Uh, I'm not sure why damage is. Oh, yeah, because dexterity is coming off. So it's giving us way more armor. Yeah, the other ones have got a lot of experience on them, though. Don't want to lose experience per kill, do we? Just keep it for now. This is all very ominous. All the infernal traps to spring. A new event of oh Christ Almighty. I forgot about this shape. Might not be able to do it in time. I've survived worse than this. Just a little longer. No, there's no way I'm going to do that. Way too many of them. Destroy the Jar of Souls. Nice. 
So we still get pickups, but not as good as we would have if we got the um, within the time. Rapid fire rune unlocked. Oh, nice. Shoot fire, oh, shoot fire arrows and reduce the hatred cost of rapid fire. Yes, please. Hey, well, that's got higher damage on it. Reduces cooldown of all skills by 4% on the one I've got. Plus one maximum discipline. More damage. Attacks per second is slower. Hmm, I think I'll keep the one I've got, maybe. Oh, I've got cold damage on the one I've got as well. Um, I don't know, like... What we're losing, we're losing the cold damage and the health is going down for some reason. I don't know what that's to do with cooldowns. Hmm. Not sure on that one. New belt. 15 armor. No, not really. I keep hitting extra junk stuff because that's what it is in Diablo 4. Ooh, check out the fire. Hello. stuck. the frack? Is that all coming from jars or something or is it them that's doing it? It's way better armor. I'm losing experience per kill again. See, how can that be going up in... Oh, I could put the wrong one on this way. <laughs> Wake up, Steven. Yeah, well, I lost dexterity and I lost experience per hit. I think I'm going to just try and stick with the one I've got on, to be fair, because it's... Give me some perks, I don't want to lose. Uh, 
When I first started, oh, that's candles. I thought it was gold. When I first started using the extra perk, I thought well, that's using way less of the power to fire my special shot. But now it feels like it's the same. <laughs> but it's not. I'm sure it's not though. It seems to be at the when well, it's at the top. It seems to go down really slow. You get sort of halfway down, it starts going really quick, or it, that's how it feels anyway. See, it's, it's that shit that winds me up. Like, I'm not hitting anything. And I'm just stuck in the middle of them. I can't move. Like, why are they so hard to fucking kill, these guys? Well, they're apparently better. Oh, every time. Jesus Christ. Hey. No, now. Yeah, I'll take that. No. Oh, look at all that. And I got a fucking a legendary helm. And a yellow helm and everything. Fucking hellfire. That was awesome. Got a new bow as well, but it's not. Doesn't look like it's any better than what we've got. I think we can get rid of those now, can't we? Got a new belt, which is apparently better. Oh, well, more decks. Life per second. Oh, we've got yellow gloves as well. Check that out. Plus six decks. Plus eight percent gold from monsters. Plus one experience per kill. Nice. Reduce cooldown of all skills by four percent. Lovely. Abyssal die. Nice. Get a die out of it. Well, they're going on. Um, not sure why the arm is coming down. Probably because of strength. Oh, I've got to identify them. What do you... Yeah, what does it use to identify? Surely I can't do it on the fly. Apart from I can. Leoric's crown. Ooh, it's got a gem socket in it as well. A... I thought I picked up a... Oh, I have, yeah. So I picked up a yellow and a... a gem, but she could only put the yellow on because I hadn't identified it yet. Oh, man. Even the... Oh, that one's got plus... That one's got plus four experience per kill. This one doesn't have any experience per kill on it. How do you do a... Oh, there we go. Increases the effect of any gem socketed into this item by 75%. This effect does not apply to legendary gems. I'm wondering if I should keep the other one on just because it's got the plus four experience per kill on it for now. Um, that said, I'm getting a massive jump in dex. And 42 life per second. Fucking hell. Hmm. <laughs> That was a fucking immense drop, that. Yeah, I'm fucking hammering those guys now. Oh, 
but it looks like we've covered that place. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, I'm almost positive this is going to be the same place. Hmm. Apart from it doesn't feel like it. I'm not sure, though, if you go into one of these places and then... Uh, it just definitely feels different. Well, that's a yellow bow, if ever I saw one. Ooh, I'm glad I came back in now. Fucking hell. Well, it's got better damage. It's got plus 18 dex, which is going to take our damage up even further. Plus 13 vitality, plus 5 life after each kill. Plus 1 maximum discipline. Yeah, decent. Going to have to put that on. Wow, that went well. Nephalum glory, what? That arm is getting stronger and stronger. Again, it's the experience per kill I want to try and keep. We'll hang off for a pair of yellows, maybe. You used to get a lot more gold out of jars and stuff in this game. Just enemies. Vengeance! My studies indicate that a high level cleric of the Zakarun named Akan began to sense the corruption that was eating away at the heart of his fate. He knew this corruption would eventually destroy his beloved church and that he must take action. After much prayer, Akan hit upon the idea of an Order of Crusaders. Your fear betrays you! Well, there 
isn't a crown here, I best try another crypt. Um, picks up Leoric's crown though. We're wearing it. Is that maybe why I'm I'm not allowed to wear it for too long? Is that I've, I've got this weird recollection of having to give it away or something? They <laughs> <laughs> I... didn't get anything too spectacular down. We got the bow right enough, but all right, well, we've tried the two crypts. Starting to build up a bit of pace with our uh, weapons and moves people. And we're nearly at level 12. I think it's level 14 for the next uh, big move. Yeah, I feel like I don't have a marker. Like the two dungeons seem to be showing me... Am I meant to be going back? Is that what it is? I've picked up the crown. No, seems to be here. What am I missing, people? What am I missing? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, there, oh, yeah. well, there's dungeons all over the place. Oh, there's one there, actually. That I might not have been in. Not sure though. Did we not go in here already? One way to find out. junked everything there. It's a little bit silly that actually because I think uh, I might actually have junked a helm that... Oh no I didn't. Still not got a pair of shoulder pads if that's what they are. Yeah I didn't junk that either. Ready yet? Well, that's apparently better in every way. I don't trust it though, I always have to go and look. <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of having the other one. Oh, it's the experience per kill thing that's. Oh, there we go. Three experience per kill plus nine decks on that one. Only goes up by a little bit, right enough. One more. Well, the armor goes up a lot though. But we've just lost our sexy dyed stuff. Never mind. I think the actual fire damage kind of keeps going. They can catch fire, I think. Yeah, the question is, do I go up there or down here? Time for that creature to die. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. 
Whoa, level up and ride your pony. He's going down, that big fella is. That armour is apparently better than what we've got. the experience but um, oh the dexterity goes up on it that's what it is but I don't want to lose the three experience per kill but it doesn't sound like a lot but when you clock it up on everything you're just going to level up quicker and we've got to level up and ride your pony the armor's actually less in, in general terms why did you just put it on Steve what have you done So we've got another... Oh, we've got another move in each of these. So we've got... That's my super fire arrows. Release a spinning blade of death that slices through enemies. Fucking hell. Should we have a look at that? <laughs> uh, I'm reluctant to lose that, though. My, my secondary... Well, let's, let's try it. Um, we've, oh, we've got a secondary, secondary move on the cow trips. Increase the slowing effect. <sighs> there we go. Caltrops can damage enemies. That's the fecker that I want. Jagged spikes. I want that badger. Yeah, definitely want that. We'll take that for now. Oh, hang on. Yeah, no, we don't want smoke thingy, do we? All good, so we just need to see what this move's like. No, not that one, Steve. Mm, not sure about that. Should we try it? See what we think? I feel like I'm going to die the first time I try and use them, though. Just seem to be doing a lot of damage though. <laughs> the problem is if you throw it and it doesn't go anywhere near, it just goes rolling around the corridor. Can kind of follow you though, can't it? Right, well that's the Defile Crypt level two. There's a shed load of places we've not looked up here. I feel like I don't have much control over those chakrams.
<coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Level two it is then. I think I'm definitely going to take back my uh, other skill. Until, well, at least until we see what the stuff below that is. Gathered the most devout, driven, and martial Zakaru materials. He taught them to channel the power of light in the same way that the newly founded paladins were being trained. But these recruits, these crusaders, were given insight into the primal powers of Zakaru in a way no paladin ever was. Stop it, fucking hell. Ooh, ring of the hawk. Uh, oh yeah, it will be equipped because I couldn't put the second ring on, could I? What's that giving us? Plus 15 decks, nice. Take a bit of that action. Uh, it might have been quicker going back the other way. Level two. I have a feeling that the crown is nearby. Ah, uh, here we go. We are in the right place. It was still worth doing the other two though, because uh, I got loads out of them. Well, good pickups out of them. Oh, hello. Who's this? Hey, big boy. What are you saying? He's going to go down before I run out of bloody juice. Mangle more be dead. Oh, and we've got a legendary bloody pickup. The quiver, legendary quiver. Fucking hell. Well... Ten life per kill. No, we'll forget about that one. I'm sure I must be using something to identify these things. It can't just be free, surely, to Christ. Ooh, 
plus 35 dex, we're only on plus 9 with the other one. Plus 30 vitality, plus 20% attack speed, come on. Plus 9% gold from monsters, plus 4 experience per kill instead of 1. Reduces cooldown of all skills by 5%. Reduces all resource costs by 5%. Fucking have it. Come on now. The quality of these arrows is stunning. Even for the Fletchers of Jacenda. Would be hard pressed to match it. Fucking hell. That is Owen. That's worth keeping on for a fair long time, that is. Bloody hellfire. Oh, we did get another bow, but... A doubt it's going to be better than that. Yeah, it's not. Chancellor's Tomb. I'm sure we're getting better drops for the fact that we are playing on hard, surely. Certainly get more experience. Absolutely pummeled them. Not far from level 13 here. Come upon a healing well. Uh, just lying there, is it? Adroit denial. Oh, shoulder, yellow shoulder pads just lying on the floor, people. It's the one thing I haven't got, I think. <laughs> Have a bit of that action. Yeah, put me straight on. Plus two thorns damage, lovely. Reduces cooldown of all skills by 4%. Reduces all resource costs by 3%. Chance to deal 8% area damage on hit. Fucking hell. Fucking lapping it up in a minute, people. It's fucking brilliant. I'm swearing I'm so happy. Uh, is it worth searching everywhere else first, or...? The Chancellor's Altar. Excuse me, mate. I've got thorns on, you know. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think that might be the way out the other way, because it's got uh, traps, I think, I can hear. No! Oh, hello. I'll allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. Chancellor Eamon. He's dead. Woo! Level up and ride your pony! And a new skill. Doing alright. I'm feeling pretty uber at the minute, I have to say. Well, the armor's better. Oh, it's got lightning skill damage on it. Oh, plus 3% lightning skill damage. I don't know if that means it will give me lightning or whether I have to have lightning to get the extra lightning skill damage. The usual. Uh, life per second, plus 4 dex. Don't want to lose plus 4 dex, really, for the sake of a little bit of armor. Ooh, level up and ride your One away from another move, people. One away from another move. And it should be a good one. So, instead of tumble, we can have preparation, focus, and instantly restore 30 discipline. Mm, don't think so. Your raven deals additional damage on its next attack. Didn't even know I had a raven, people. Passive, summons a raven companion from the shadows. Nice. Might consider that, actually. Mark an enemy to take additional damage from attacks. 
Eh, dah. Mind you, yeah, some of these don't cost any discipline, which is quite cool. Like that, that costs eight discipline. Uh, it doesn't have a cooldown. That has a cooldown, but doesn't cost any discipline. The Raven doesn't cost any discipline, but has a 30 second cooldown. Depends how much damage it does, doesn't it, really? Oh well. We shall keep what we have for now, I think. Alright. Onward. Why I've still got the <laughs> Event complete town portal. Use the town portal to return to New Nistrum. Talk to Hadrig Amen. Alright. That's why I've not been able to return to town. I am returning to town. Now, before we do that, I'm going to check the... Uh, I don't know how to use the town portal. <laughs> I'm going to have to check that out as well. All ah, right. So that's Cemetery of Forsaken. Pretty sure we've not got anywhere to discover in that area, so we can teleport from here, I guess. That was a dead end. It was a dead end all along. Yeah, I'm not sure what it decides to put on there. I think it's the last number of things you picked up, maybe. Seems to think I've got a chess piece that's better than the one I'm wearing. All sorts of stuff going on, which can't be the case, surely. Because they've all been junked. I think it's irrelevant if you've junked it or not. In here, I think it still pops up as recently acquired in the other one. So... Yeah, because it... Oh, no, it was braces, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, how do we use it? Um, I am returning to yeah, right on the D-pad. <laughs> hey, there he is. You found the crown. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah, it needs repair. Should be no problem. It's good to work again. There. New as the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. Then we are allies. Each weapon you forge for me shall serve to purify these lands. Nice. Adventuring stake thrower of the eel. <laughs> Thank you. Right, the quest is done. Now what do we do? Oh, we speak to this guy here. Speak to a little Deckard again. I'm going to collapse all my junk first, though. My junk. My junk. Eh, crikey, that's a dangerous business. Yeah, it's the four experience per kill, isn't it, that I kind of didn't want to let go of. I might stick that in the chest, you know. Just in case for another character or whatever. Uh, where's my chest again? Oh, it's there. <laughs> Shh, 
move item to stash. I mean, look, there's a Lyrix Lyrix crown there, which is a higher version of it. Level 38. I also, yeah, I wish I had a gem. Don't seem to have a gem, do I? Well, it doesn't seem to be a gem option in the. Uh, I've still not got a necklace yet, I don't think. I'm not seeing anything to do with gems in there. Upgrade stash. 10,000. I don't think we need to, do we? Plenty of room, there's hardly anything in it. Well, we do have a helm on that's got a gem socket in it, but I don't think we can buy a gem. Uh, you don't have new items that I'm going to be of any interest in whatsoever. Leave me alone. Gem combiner. Remove gem. Must be this one. Yeah, re required materials. Yeah, I don't seem to have any gems at all. I can't remember where and how and what I get these from. Uh, there is a bow that I've got a gem on, which... I don't know what it's doing, but... Uh... Alright, we'll hold off. You think you're some type of hero? Here to save us all? The dead will feast on your bones as easily as they will ours. Oh, shut up, you. It's looking pretty sexy now, eh? Picked up some good shit. You can see the little quiver on the side of her as well. It's really, sw really smart. What's he saying? Tell me about yourself. I volunteered to help because it seemed the right thing to do. But I'm no leader of men. Few are. But you are the best they have right now. So you need to lead. That's a simple thing for you to say. You were born to fight monsters like the Risen Dead. Me? I'm just a farmer. How might I use the crown to reach the Skeleton King? Ah. <sighs> At last. With it, you can unlock the sealed door in the room where you rescued me and enter the royal crypts. When you find the Skeleton King, place the crown atop his head and destroy him. When he is destroyed, I shall finally reach the star. Return to the Cathedral Garden. Seems reasonable. Right, before we do that, I think we'll, uh, maybe... Hang on, let's just check what we've got on. So we've kind of got good shit going down. We've not got a good body piece, really. It's an okay body piece, but it's not that great. Body piece and pants are the two... Bits that aren't overly spectacular. Body be body piece, pants, and braces. Well, we can only get a level eight. In one more level, we can make the next level up. Two random magic properties, 37 armor, so it's not that much better than what we've got on. Still can't do anything with those. But we can get level 13 
pants which have got a way more armor on them. Uh, so we could probably make those, I think. Well, the dexterity, we'll lose the experience per kill, sadly, but I'm willing to give that up for 12 decks. <laughs> and 53 armor. Oh, Steve. Just made another pair. By mistake. <laughs> but it worked out alright, didn't it? It's a little bit less armor. It's 16 dexterity, and we've got the, the plus 7 experience per kill. Right, okay. Yeah, the equip button's... Uh, at the bottom, isn't it? You come out. Well, that worked out alright. So we've got, uh. Yeah, so it was a little bit less in the armor front, but. Yeah, 16 instead of 6, plus 7 experience per kill instead of plus 3. Win win. Winner winner, chicken dinner. Bang. Stats wise, we're at 192 decks. <laughs> it's quite good, isn't it? I just wish you could go over to that side so it could tell you what the decks and everything meant, but it doesn't seem to. Uh... Stat ranges. Ah, right, okay. Didn't know that existed. On the right there, it's put in between 12 and 17 on the stat ranges. Or the decks and seven to nine against the experience per kill. Right, well, we'll get rid of. Oh, hello, what's this? Blacksmith belongings. Mira's letter to Hadrick. My dearest Hadrick, do not feel despair, my love. You did everything you could. Our time together meant more than words can say. But in the end, fate is a cruel mistress. Your strength is needed to end the horrors that beset this world. My final wish is that you find your path. Love always. Mira. Cause words, words are all I have to take pain away. Mira Eamon. It is good to see you back at the forge, blacksmith. Work needs doing. No one is going to do it for me. That is very true, but we also need people to fight. No, this is my trade, and I'm the best. I'll make you the weapons you need to kill every last demon you see. Deal? Hadrick's grandfather. Tell me about your grandfather, the Chancellor. Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When the Skeleton King fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. A brave deed. It is good to know that there was one sane man among the mad. Right, we'll collapse these... Uh, no, what am I doing? Collapse them, Steve. I always keep doing that, going to that guy to sell them. I don't think... I mean, weapons-wise, we're well on the way, aren't we? We don't need to be making anything weapon-wise. We've got that... We've got a legendary quiver, and we've got a yellow bloody bow. So there's no point making anything. And if there was weapon set things going on, then fine. But I can understand with the skills the way they work, why you wouldn't have a... Objective, return to Cathedral Garden. Everything else has got... Loads of unread stuff that I'm never going <laughs> to go through to get rid of those flashing stars. Well, there you are, folks. I think we're going to wrap it there because it's just about on the hour mark. 
and it's a perfect place to start the next part. I'm not sure how much is going to get triggered by teleporting to the cathedral, which is exactly what we'll do in the next part. People thoroughly enjoyed that, people. I'm really enjoying this playthrough. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Diablo 3 on the Xbox Series X, and I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.